name's Kirk Johnson. I'm the Chief Curator and Vice President for Research and Collections at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. And I'm standing in the Conservation Lab, which right now is full of bones. We've just finished our excavation up at Snowmass Village for the winter. There was a discovery on October 14th of a young mammoth. We got up there on October 27th, and by November 2nd, we were digging in full forest until we were finally kicked off the mountain by snow and frozen ground. And over that time, we collected something like 560 different bones. Now, bones come from lots of different animals. We've recognized seven different species. We have the, the American Macedon is our most common animal from the site. We have Columbian mammoth. We have giant Ice Age bison, we have Ice Age deer, and we have parts of a giant Jefferson's ground sloth. So all told, seven species. Total number of animals probably in the vicinity of about parts of 20 to 30 different individual animals. But that's gonna be uh, sorted out as we clean these bones, dry them out carefully, piece them back together, and rebuild their bodies. And one of the questions is how many actual skeletons did we get? And right now we don't have um, a good sense of how many skeletons are there. We had the one partial juvenile female mammoth that was collected in the tent. We probably have about 60% of her skeleton. Uh, we won't know until we get the bones all laid out. One of the questions we're still trying to answer is exactly how old are these bones? Now we use a variety of different techniques to understand the age of fossil bones. And if the bones are younger than 45,000 years, you can use radiocarbon dating. We've sent so far two samples off for radiocarbon dating and both of those samples came back with dead radiocarbon, which suggests that all the bones in the site are older than 43,500 years. We're resampling a couple of the bones now to make sure that those samples were good, those analyses were good, and we're looking at other ways to date these sections if in fact the site is older than 43,000 years. One other technique we use is the study of the glacial moraine that made the lake in the first place. That is to say you can't have the fossils if you don't have the lake and you can't have the lake if you don't have the glacial moraine. So we can date the glacial moraine of a maximum age for the age of the fossils. And from our initial estimates, it looks like this moraine is what's called the Bull Lake Moraine. Bull Lake Moraines in the Rocky Mountains tend to be about 130,000 years old. So right now, our best guess for the age of the site is that it's older than 43,500 and it's younger than 130,000. But we're still working on refining those numbers and hopefully by next spring, we'll have a better estimate of how old these fossils actually are. So all told, it was an amazing catch for 18 days of, of heavy digging in the winter in the mountains of Colorado. And over the next several months, what we'll be doing is carefully working on these bones. We'll be pulling together a scientific advisory team. We'll be putting together a scientific plan for next spring when we want to go back onto the site sometime in May and resume excavations for at least a month and see what more comes out of the amazing fossil site in Snowmass Village, Colorado.